Hi and welcome back to Midi Explores and today we're at Catesby Viaduct and we're going to go all the way to the bottom end or the top end of Catesby Tunnel and then as you can see over here we go all the way around and there's Catesby House is behind us there so the tunnel the tunnel end or tunnel with the northern portal I do believe is right down here behind me like he says falling over and then we've got, that leads onto a, an agricultural bridge which is missing, which we'll look at in a minute. And then we go onto the viaduct, which is over there. So we go, so let's have a little journey and see what we can find. Right, so today we start a walk and this is Catesby Tunnel. So this is, I'm echoing nicely. Um, it's the Northern Portal. So there you can see the date plaque, 1897, which we saw at the other end on the other video, which I'll put a link to in the description. I can hear a car, so I dare say it's in use at the minute. So this end of the tunnel is like a, a bat sanctuary. You may remember when we drove down it. So there you go, you can see in there now. So we drove just down to there the turntable this is all sealed off obviously now some idiot's been here with a spray can for some bizarre reason but look at that amazing portal to the tunnel standard GCR we see it all the time beautiful look at that that is absolutely amazing so of course trains would have we stood on the trap bed so that's the trap bed, it's still stone, so I don't know if this is original stone. So what we're gonna do now is walk north. Um, we're gonna go north and through this agricultural access bridge, or occupation access, I should say. And so uh, let's go on our journey. And then we go on to Catesby Viaduct, which is uh, absolutely gorgeous, as you've probably seen already. So, remnants of the trap bed here remnants not really i think there's a lot of um, work um, stuff left from when they were doing the tunnel and then what is agricultural access or occupation access bridge now the sides have been filled in for bats you can see the, the bat things at the side so it would have been three arches obviously two at the moment or one at the moment sorry so the train would trains would have gone straight through this middle arch slightly different at the top I don't know if that's been replaced but standard standard GCR here so what we're going to do is keep walking this way and then we get to the bridge that's been taken out which I'll get the bridge number and uh, there's some sort of water tower or pump or something at the side of it which we'll film as well so we can have a look at that. I'm sure you'll tell me more about it. There we go. So look at that. It's a lovely agricultural bridge. That is gorgeous. Bit, bit of soot still under there. That is lovely. Really nice. Right, so I'm going to get through uh, Lake Catesby now. Lake Catesby and then uh, we'll carry on the walk along the trap bed. So I've just walked on a little bit from the bridge and there's a plate layers hut in here. This looks in remarkable condition. Look at that. Hidden away in the bushes. That is in great condition for its age. Let's have a look in there. You can see what it's built up here through the uh, on the side of the railway. I mean, absolutely eaten alive by mosquitoes and everything else at the moment. There we go, look at that. Lovely plate layer hut. Right at the side of the GCR. The roof's coming in a bit. I still got a bit of the window. The door frame's still in. That's amazing. 
and then uh, I see the windows still. On this side, the roof's intact. The roof's still intact on this side. Wow. And still got the floor as well. Look at that, it's amazing condition. No window this side though, which is really odd. And the door frame is still over there. Oh man. Look at that, that's brilliant. Right. Let's continue the walk. Yeah, look at that. Lovely plate layers hook that is. concrete plinth at the bottom there to hold it up that's been there many years and we're there for many years still because it's sort of hidden right so i'm going to continue northwards on the trap bed so you can see this is trap bed here it's a bit more obvious and then we're going to go straight through all this which isn't as bad as it looks and then we're on to a disused or a, a, um, a missing bridge Badgers have got alternative tunnels. So there's Catesby's down there. So we've walked. That's Catesby Hall. House. House. Catesby House. And then this bit round here. Now this is trap bed. And now we're onto this disused bridge. Which has been removed. So as I'll show you now. Now the other side of this is a feature. Which we're going to... Uh, have a look at because it looks like a, some sort of water tower water pump not sure exactly what it is but we'll have a look see what we can see so i'm sure we've got a bridge number on there so that's just been lifted straight out look at that what a beautiful old thing great bit of brickwork again standard see it everywhere so until we're back on the GCR, got the bridge number in there. It might be. God, look at this drainage duct here. That is mad. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a bridge number. It's not a bridge number, it's a no public right of way. Well, we've got a treat down there for when we get back, so we're going to get through here first. And then we'll look at the... Uh, look at that brickwork. Still immensely strong, so I imagine this would have had a, uh, a steel bridge on it at some point. Just agricultural access. That is amazing, look at that. So this is a right away, by the way, because it is a footpath, as you can see here. There we go, look at that. Immense. Wow. Wow. Wow, look at that. It's crazy. So of course, let's try onto the viaduct here. Is the next next one. So we're going to track back. Well, we're going to, as you've seen, we've started at the tunnel, which we drove through. Which they'll put the link to the video above. And then we've got a surprise over here. Right, here we are then. So this is where the bridge has been taken out here. This way, look. So we just walked. So behind me is Catesby Tunnel. So at the end here. We have, he says, try not to fall over, a water feature. A water feature, that sounds nice. So look at that, that's typical GCR. And then this bit here, look. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. How has that survived? So I'm not sure, I'm entirely sure what that was for. I'll try and find out and put it on the screen. But it's something to do with water because we can hear it running still. 
So whether this is related to the tunnel, related to the railway, I don't know, but you can hear the water. But look at that. What a thing that is. It's in great condition considering. Oh, some nice iron sticking out the side there. Just look at that, I have no idea. It is something to do with water, because there's a trench, two trenches run down the bottom here, down there. So your trench there, it looks like a sort of a bypass, and there's one goes right underneath it. So, uh, what a feature that is. So this is, this looks like it goes into it here, look, down there. But that is some bit of kit. But this isn't running, obviously. And then there's water running like mad down there, whether that's a stream or, I don't know. So, as always, answers on a postcard, please. Everybody knows what it is. It's new to me, so I'm always happy to learn. That is beautiful though, what a beautiful relic. I say, I don't think it's working at all, but obviously with something completely different. Wow, that is gorgeous. Right, so continuing north, continuing north along the GCR towards, uh, so if we, if we go straight ahead, we're going up towards Leicester basically. So what we're approaching now is Catesby Viaduct. So you just see the, the brick bits at the ends, a little bit eroded, but we'll have a look at the viaduct itself and get some shots from the sides, obviously, and so you can actually see it. But uh, the trap bed up here is it's a great big um, embankment. I mean, this would have been it's about 50 feet high. And look at that, it absolutely would have been I'd love to see him building this back in the day. My word. So we're about 50 feet above, uh, um, about 50 feet above uh, sea level, ground level, which is down there. So then we're going to see the end of the viaduct now, look. Oh. Make sure I don't fall down a badger set because they're everywhere around here. You can see them down here. There's all the sets. That was even massive. There we go, look at that. So you can actually see the, uh, where well, the ground's eroded away at the side there, you can actually see what the uh, track bed was built of. So there we go, look at that. That's beautiful. So there you go, look. So you can actually see the layers there of the built, how they built the track bed. Just rock, the fantastic brick stanchions there in the walls. And then this rock based on top of the arches to give it more strength. My word, that is, that is incredible. Incredible, we don't normally see that. And you can see where the ground is. Ground's basically worn away in front of it. That is a rare sight. We don't normally see that at all. Right, so we're going to go on to the viaduct itself. And then the other side of the viaduct, there is an arch, an arch bridge down there. The other side of that gateway, I should imagine. But um, apparently it's live, live bees. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> It's a very old rickety gate. And that on top of the viaduct itself. So you can see this is trap bed here. See the trap, make the trap bed out. Oh wow, look at this. Similar sort of length to Weston. It doesn't feel much bigger. No graffiti though, which is gorgeous. But we are out in the countryside a bit to be fair. See if we can have a look over the top here. So there we go, look at that. 
see the countryside. Wow, it's amazing. It's quite high. I'll find the details of the height and the length and everything, put them on the screen like I normally do. So we get it right and don't get moaned at. <laughs> Looks like some bricks have been taken off at you. So there we go, that's the valley. We look down there, I'll say, are we about 60, 70 feet up? Something like that. So I'll get all the details. Yeah, this is actual, actual track bed. Look at that, that's an old oil can. Wow. So that's Catesby, Catesby Viaduct in all its glory. So this is, I say we walk here, then we're gonna go down the side, have a look at the sides, give us some idea how it looks. We see it's an amazing condition, really. Wow. Look at that. It's just nice to see no graffiti. Totally unspoiled. So something's happened to the top of this one because somebody's took away the cappings but it's still here, that's what matters. And unspoiled, which is lovely. Look at that. So there we go, one end to the other of the actual track. Now beyond this, I'll say there's a arch bridge down there, which is an, I think it's an access, occupation access bridge, I think. But I've been told that there's live bees, so we won't bother. See the top of the arch is here. So I imagine that's the last arch. And then to the end here. Don't fancy walking through there anyway, to be fair. So huge cappings as always. So you see on this side where the bricks have been taken there, look, and then they're gone. So somebody's taken them off some point right let's get down down the bottom have a look at it from the sides right so there we go look we're down at the side now as you can see on the bottom of that arch it's not in terrific condition this thing some drainage parts have been added there at some point but uh, beautiful little thing the arch is it three six eleven it's 11 or 12, I think. 13. Might be 13. <laughs> it's probably 13. I probably can't count very well. Look at those. Absolute beautiful viaduct. Out in the middle of nowhere. So this is looking north. So Catesby Tunnel is behind us. Look at that. Beautiful. Being attacked by bees now. That is a glorious thing, isn't it? It really is. No graffiti. And we've got a tree grown out of there as well. So that the roots have done that damage there. That's awful. That's not doing it the world of good. Wow, that is lovely. Down at the bottom now. You see, it doesn't really go over a river or anything. It just goes over this ground. But look at those. I say not in the best condition. You can see where the bricks are failing at the top of the uh, um, oh, bottom of the arches. But um, apart from that, just look at that. So I just want to get down here. See, I feel in the height. I think it's about 60 feet, 70 feet high. It's absolutely immense. Wow, just wow, look at that, look at that. Catesby Viaduct in all her glory. She is a beauty, 
absolutely so i'm going to aim for this one because i want to just sell as part of it Catesby Viaduct done let's have a look at that wow look at that that brickwork is incredible it's actually in really good condition when you get up close to it it's just the mortar the mortar's failing and there's a bit of, br bit of cracking as you get further up it's in a lot bigger mess there's a couple of bricks on the floor here so I don't want to get hit by one of them as it's falling wow look at that just look at that absolutely beautiful what a beautiful bit of kit oh, I'm loving that it's a great view from down here as well excellent so we got a bit of a feature an original telegraph pole there still got the insulators on there look at that there's not many of those left standing that aren't on a restored railway that is absolutely gorgeous I can't get to it, um, I'll just say to Dad because it's completely buried. But look at that, you see the green hair growing up the arches there. But look at that, what a wonderful thing. That is absolutely gorgeous in there. And then, look this side again. No trees growing out this side, but... Uh, Still not in great condition. It's the bottom of the arches where it seems to have gone. But look at that, it's beautiful. That is beautiful. Right, so I hope you really enjoyed that. So that was the northern portal of Catesby Tunnel, which followed on from the video we made before. A gorgeous plate layers hut in really good condition. An old agricultural bridge, which is at the top removed. Then we found that water feature, which I'm sure you're all going to tell me what that is. And finally this, this beautiful viaduct. I'll just take myself out of shot a bit because it's so nice. And that is an absolute peach, hidden in the middle of the countryside. And slowly, slowly falling down. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Plenty more coming up on the railways and from the GCR, of course. And uh, I'll see you all soon. So thanks a lot. Bye.